Good morning, everyone. It's Friday again. Welcome to your exercise session. We hope you're all feeling well today. My name is Matt. I'm the exercise instructor. Morning. I'm Jodie. I'm one of the cardiac nurses. And we're for the West Southern Beauty Cardiac Rehab team. Let's hope you can see on this board behind us. Good. So we're here to your exercise session with you today. Brilliant. Lovely. So just before we get going, um, please just make Make sure you've read the checklist, so that's in the description in the, the lower part of the, um, the screen. And um, so just make sure you've dropped down the menu and had a look at that, at that description. Very important before we get going. And um, once you've read that through, just check that you're happy and you feel safe to exercise today. If you do have any queries or any concerns at all, we do have a nurse on triage. So as always, um, so please do do feel free to, to give us a call on, on the service number that you have at the front of your front of your booklets. Just a couple of other things before we get going. Just make sure you've got a glass of water to hand. So it's really important that you keep nicely hydrated throughout the session. And um, similarly, it's, it's a little bit cooler today, but just make sure you've got good airflow. It's well vented room. And um, make sure you've got enough space around you. Good sturdy dining room or something um, to, to be able to use. Um, and last of all, just make sure that you're wearing some, some decent footwear as well. We know you're doing it at home, but it is very important to wear something that's going to protect your feet. For the structure today, as normal, those who've been doing this session for a few weeks, okay, we're going to have that 10 minute warm up, we're going to have a 10 minute conditioning phase, and then we're going to have a 10 minute cool down. So, for that conditioning phase in the middle, then we are going to have a minute aerobic or cardiovascular activity and a minute uh, active recovery. We're going to do the same exercises. Obviously, you can see one of us is standing, one of us is seated. For the whole session, Joe is going to do a seated version of the the assisted standing. Make sure you're just following whoever is keeping you within your comfortable limits. So if you're finding following myself is getting a little bit difficult, you can follow Jody. And if you find Jody's version is quite easy, you can come join myself. As we go through conditioning phase, you might find that doing the standard version that works for you doing the aerobic exercises where you get those heart rates up. But you may want to join the version of the active recovery, um, just if it helps with your balance and things, okay? As we do the active recovery, right, you can use light um, weights, okay? So you've got a couple of dumbbells, perfect. Or you can use tins of beers or bottles of water. A 500ml bottle of water is about half a kilo, and a litre bottle is about a kilogram. All right, so you've got those there, and you can use them just for that little bit of resistance as we do those active recovery exercises. As we go through the programme, always refer back to that bulk scale the way that you're feeling. So for the warm-up, we want to bring it up the gears from that extremely light level up towards that light. Maintaining it between light and somewhat hard, but you're catching your breath slightly, but still able to talk during that phase and then bringing it back down the gears over those last 10 minutes for the cool down. So, spoken about the equipment, the other thing is just make sure you've got a chair, okay? So whether you're doing this sister standing or fully standing or you're doing the seated, do have a chair nearby. Some of the exercises um, do require them. And also when we get to the cool down, we're gonna do five minutes standing and then we're all gonna come seated anyway. So make sure you've got a chair nearby so you can take a seat and you don't end up on the floor. Perfect. All right. Um, those of you seated anyway during the session, uh, you might find that it's, it's a lot of work on those core muscles and in your back and things, also in your hips. If you find that you need just a moment just to recover a little bit, then you can relax back in the chair, but just make sure that you're keeping those feet tapping as you do so. And then when you feel ready, then just wriggle forward and back into that chair and come back into that working position. And we'll keep referring to that as we as we go throughout. But that working position is making sure you're sitting tall and upright, 90 degree angles, feet shoulder width apart, okay, and just sucking in those tummy muscles just to engage those those core muscles a little bit as well. Very good. All right then. So if you're ready to begin, you've got your equipment nearby, you've got that glass of water, have a slurp on that as we go through, okay. I'm just gonna start off with some simple heel raises. If you have a seated version, you may find it a little bit easier if you're standing just to go to a nice gentle walk. So remember, taking everything nice and comfortable as we begin, everything should be lovely and easy to begin with. And remember, just following who is keeping you within your comfortable limits as we go through. Good, and we're gonna have some little toe taps out to the side, some little toe taps out to the side as we go. Remember, small range of movement for us. Little toe taps out. Just start to warm those hips up slightly. Very good. And we're going to go back to our walk again. So back to our walk. 
Good, and we're gonna go with some little toe taps out the front. So toe tapping out the front. Again, nice little movements. Keep that range of movement nice and small to begin with, all nice and comfortable. Use that chair for support. Good, and back to walk again. Excellent, well done. Just pedaling through those feet, taking everything lovely and comfortably. Good, and we're going to go into a little heel dig out the front, heel dig with the other foot, and we're going to go to a toe tap out front, and toe tap with the other foot. So heel, heel, toe, and toe. Very good. Heel, heel, toe, and toe. Very good. Keep that pattern going for us, just taking it at your own speed, remember. Good, we're gonna come back to our walk now, so walking in, and then you're gonna try and leave with the other leg, okay? So stepping up with the other leg, so it gets a little bit confusing. Use that chair for support, remember, just to help improve your coordination slightly. Very good, we're gonna do two more on each side. we we'll do the last ones. Fantastic, and back to our walk again, excellent. So you can allow one of those arms, or both of those arms, just to have a little swing down by your side if you're feeling comfortable. We start to mobilize those shoulders. Giving the arm a little bit of a swing. Good, we're going to go for those toe taps out to the side. So toe tapping out to the side again, a little bit further than we did before, but still keeping within your comfortable range of movement. So you find some bit too much in your hips, just slow that pace down, reduce that range of movement if you need to. But if you're finding things lovely and easy, you can just bring in a little arm movement, all right? So just bringing that arm up to the side, keep it nice and low to begin with. Give yourself some scope to build up the intensity of your activity as we go through. Fantastic. And let's go back to our march again. Excellent. Allow one of those arms or both of those arms to swing down by your side. Good. And we can do some shoulder rolls. So you can do them one at a time. We can do them both together. So one shoulder or both shoulders rolling back. We'll do four on one side. And four on the other. But obviously if you're doing them both together, you just need to do four in all. I'm sure you could have figured that one out for yourself. Excellent, and keep yourself a bit of a shake out. Good, just pedaling those feet away. Back to swinging the arm. Good, and we're gonna rotate for the shoulders again, this time leading with the elbow, spring that elbow in there. Just get a little bit more for that shoulder as we go. We're gonna do a third one. And on the fourth, we're gonna bring that hand up to the side. Take the palm of the hand to the back of the head. And then the back of the hand to that lower or mid back, depending on where you can reach to. Very good, and relax back down. Same on the other side, so three rollbacks. Lovely, on the fourth, bring the hand up. Palm of the hand to the back of the head. Back of the hand to the mid or lower back, depending on where you can reach to. Very good, I keep that shake out. Very good, back to our mount again. Swinging both those arms, or one of those arms, you want to keep in contact with that chair. Good, let's go back to those heel digs out in front. And this time we can bring in those little bicep curls, okay? So bringing those bicep curls in. So you can do one arm, you can want to keep one hand in the top of the chair, or you can bring both arms in, just a little swing of those arms, having a heel dig out in front. Depending on how you're feeling. Think about that ball scale, you still find things quite comfortable at the moment. Still feel quite easy as we go through. Excellent. 
Excellent. And again, let's go back to our march again. Just take the things down a little bit if you need to. Thank you. Walk those feet out to the side. I'm going to keep those feet pedaling just away nice and gently. If you're standing, just have a little bend of those knees and we're going to go into those little toe taps. And we're going to have a reach down to one side. So whether you're seated or standing. If you do the seated version, just hold on to one side. We're going to reach down for four on one side. So reaching down and back up. Two. Three. And four. We'll have a little wiggle of those feet in the middle, make sure we're keeping that circulation up. So when we do the bend down, right, to make sure you're measuring between two panes of glass. So not leaning forwards or leaning back. We're literally just sliding down to the sides, so reaching down and back up. Two, keep breathing while doing this. Three. And four. Excellent, well done, and back to you much. Again, give that arm a bit of a swing, start to bring that intensity up again. Good, we're gonna do some little knee lifts, all right? So just raising those knees up. If you're doing the seated version, remember, just a tiny raise of those knees, and you can touch lightly on them as they come up. If you do find it too much in your hips, all right, you can just go to those heel digs out in front if you find that easier. Remember, keeping yourself just to what's comfortable for you. And we're going to do four, three, two, one, and back to your march again. Very good. We're going to do a few little leg stretches just to prepare the body. So we're going to heel dig out in front, use that chair for support, toes up towards the ceiling. Just have a little flex forwards and ease back in a little bit of those feet. Same on the other side, so heel dig out, little flex forwards, hold, two, three, and ease back in, have all of those feet. We're going to do two more on each side, so heel dig out, flex forwards, two, three, relax. Other leg, heel dig, two, three, and relax. Okay. Last one, heel dig out, toes up, little lean forwards, put up stretching that calf muscle and back in. Last one for me, heel dig out, toes up, lean forwards, and back in. Very good, and a pedal through those feet, bring that arm back in, or arms if you're feeling comfortable. Start to pick that pace up a little bit more, we've got a couple more minutes of the warm up left. I'm sure you're all excited about. Yes, back we are. Yes, of course <laughs> I can hear you, I can hear you. <laughs> and we're going to go back to those toe taps up to the side again. So toe tapping out to the side. And this time we can bring your arms up a little bit higher than before, or you're finding it lovely and comfortable, you can bring a little swing of those arms in. Good. And we can do one, two, and then bring those arms up in front for one and two. So side, side, front. Front. You can keep one hand in contact with the chair if you want to. Side, side, front. front. Just to give you a bit of confusion on this Friday morning, if you haven't quite woken up yet. In the morning, so it's fine, you're not alone. Good, last ones. Good, and back to your march again. Nice, quick march. And we're just going to finish off with those little box steps, all right, because we enjoy doing this so much. And walk those feet out to the side. So making that box as big or as small as you want to, step into the corner of that box and forwards, forwards, and back, back. Good. And then if you're feeling comfortable, you can bring those arm movements in, either one arm, if you want to keep that arm in contact with a chair, or you can bring both arms in, like Jody's doing. So out, out, and in, in. Leading on one leg, and again, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can then switch over and lead for four on the other leg, as we usually do. Laugh at me as I struggle to do this. Very good. Last one on the other side, which you've done four, you can switch over. Very good, let's go back to our march again, good. 
Nice quick march just to finish off as we head into the main component of our exercise session today. So make sure you just grab yourselves a drink. I've got to make a slight adjustment. All right. So grab yourselves a drink. We'll just keep our feet marching as we do this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Good. All right, so let's move into the main phase. So we're going to start out with those toe taps out in front. So toe taps out in front. And we're going to go with some taps and claps. So taps and claps. So if you want to increase the intensity of this exercise, you can take those hands up a little bit higher. And if you want to confuse the situation, you can take those hands off to one side. I should be really good at this because I'm a drummer, but obviously not a very good one. <laughs> Thank you, Jodie, for not making any comments there. <laughs> say a word. Don't say a word. Good. Remember, if you wanted to bring things down, just reduce that range of movement, or you can leave the hands out all together, just do those toe taps out in front. I'm sure you're enjoying yourself so much, you want to keep going with it. Remember, bring those hands up high to increase that intensity if you're finding it nice and easy, whether you're seated or standing. Fantastic. Let's go back to our march again. We're going to go to our first active recovery exercise, which is going to be our upper back, so we're going to grab both of our weights. Remember to try and keep those feet moving. So those of you that don't feel your balance is best, you may want to join Jodie for doing this. Underhand grip, all right, and just going to pull in towards your top button. And you're going to open those hands up, like you open that newspaper, back to the middle, and relax to the front again. So in, open it up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Once you've got a break between them, you're going to squeeze the juice out of it. Very good. Keep going for us. Nice, slow, control movements. Keep that breathing going. Keep those feet moving if you can. Fantastic. Well done, everyone. So three seconds in. Three seconds back out again. Got time for just one more. So in, open up. Feel that tension across the upper back. And relax in the middle. Very good. Pop those weights down to one side. We'll go back to march again. Good, and we're going to go into those knee raises. So you use that chair for support as before, tapping lightly onto those knees. So you can increase that intensity slightly, bringing the pace up or increasing the size of those arm movements. If you're doing the seated version, remember just little movements, and if you prefer, go to those heel digs out in front, which you might find a little bit easier in your hips and knees. Remember, if you need to, you can relax back in the chair if you need just a moment just for recovery, but it's very important that you keep those feet moving. And when you're ready, hip roll forward and come back into that working position and just rejoin in with us. Keep reflecting where you are on that board scale during the sessions, just making sure you're in your own comfortable limits. Well done, everyone. So last 10 seconds, all right? Keep going for us. Remember that your speed, do what is right for you. Have we said comfortable limits enough yet? Yeah? I think we've said it a few times. Okay, good. It's still very important. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to our mouth again. Good. Grab your weights. So we're going to go for our latch and arm raises. Okay, so again, if you need to join Jodie for this, you can do one arm at a time. Okay, so you go out to one side and then back down. But it's out, no hiding your shoulder and then back down again. Try and keep those feet moving. Keep breathing. Nice upright posture. A little bend to the elbow. No hiding your shoulder and back down again. This is a movement for your shoulders. They are a small muscle group. They will fatigue fairly quickly. So if you find it gets too much in your shoulders, drop the weights up, carry on without the weights if you've had enough with it, or just pedal those feet up to the end of the minute and just wait for us to finish this exercise and you can join back in. I like to think of this as a Batman impression. You do indeed, don't you? I do, I do. It reminds me every time. <laughs> you won't do your impression of Batman though, will you? No. No, I did mine once. <laughs> Then how to explain who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And pop those weights down to one side again. Back to your march. Let's go for those heel digs out in front again for me. And we're going to go for those heel digs out in front and we're going to go for those arm swings. So swing those arms. Fantastic. And if you want to challenge yourself, all right, so you can just do the one arm, one leg if you want to. That's perfectly acceptable. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can do the two, and you can do the swings up in front for two. So one, two, three, four. One, 
two, three, four. But remember, just do what's right for you. Keep that hand in contact with the chair if you need to. I've got so many alternatives for you. As long as you're moving, you're getting some health benefits from it, all right? So we're happy with that. Absolutely. You're going to be just pedaling those feet away. And just enjoying our lovely company on a Friday. Don't forget to have yourself your drink as well as we go through the session. Excellent. Back to you, Mark, again. Good. We're going to do a little strengthening exercise for our outer thigh, okay? So if you're doing a seated version, this could be a case of just taking that foot round to the side. So just lift it up, take it round to the side, nice and slowly as Jenny's demonstrating. If we do a standard version, we're going to just have a raise of that leg up to the side and use that chair for support. Come back down, we'll have a little wiggle in the feet in the middle and then out to the other side, okay? So with our sensor out to the side. Back down, have a wiggle of those feet, then out to the other side. So just build this down the outside of the leg. Fix your gaze on something if you're doing a standard version just to help with your balance, right? But you use that chair for support. If you find it is painful in your hips, then you can just go back to your walk or just reduce that range of movement. Just take it at your comfortable pace, but aim for three seconds up, three seconds down, as long as you'll feel comfortable to do that. Good, and back to your walk again, well done. Excellent, we're gonna do our little taps and punches, all right? So, feet tapping just out to the sides, some little movements, or you can start with the outside and tap into the middle. You want to challenge your coordination a little bit more. And if you find that nice and easy, okay, you can have some little punches out in front. Very good. good. Remember not to punch anyone in the face. It's not ideal. This is where the team eaters comes in. It does indeed. No matter how tempting it might be to punch that person that's in the room with you, Jody, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine 10 weeks of being stuck with me? You have to do this twice a week. <laughs> Four sessions a week. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And let's go back to our march again. March in the way. And we're going to go to our simple bicep curls. We've done this a million times before. Arms down by the side, tuck the elbows in, keep those feet moving, all right? So you're pedaling away nice and upright. Keep your breathing going, bringing the hands up towards the shoulders, isolating that bicep muscle. And back down again. Good. So up. So three seconds up, three seconds back down. Do you really feel it working in that bicep muscle? Very good. A couple more repetitions, doing really well. And then we'll be heading into the last two exercises of our session today. Doing well. Really well. Last one. And back down again. Very good. Pop those weights to one side. Why well, I'm going to be mean to you, we're going to finish off our marching sprints today. So we're going to march our feet. So if you want, you can continue just to march your feet through this minute, okay? But if you're feeling up for it, you can join us for those little sprints that we do. So one, two, three, sprint those feet. Very good. And back down to our march again. Have a little bit of recovery, keep that arm or arm swinging if you're feeling comfortable to. Use that chair, remember, if you need to, for a little bit of support. As we go into those sprints for three, two, one, off we go, sprinting away. Excellent, and back down. Good. We've got one more to do. Have a little bit of recovery before we do it, though. Just keep checking yourself on that dog scale. Now, one, two, three, off you go. Fantastic, and back to your march again. Excellent. So, last resistance exercise could be our backwards arm press. So, arms down by the side, and all you're going to do is slowly take the arms behind and back down. So, we're aiming to hit this tricep muscle down the back, right? Or your finger ring. <laughs> that is the technical term. It is the technical term, yeah. What's well, written in all the anatomy physiology books says. Yeah, <laughs> nice slow movements as always. Keep it a bit moving, keep your breathing going. Nice upright posture. If you've managed to sit upright this entire time, we're very impressed. Thank you. 
başlarına. Umarım kompleme edecek. Tamam. Last one, nice and slowly back. Feel that tension in that tricep and relax back down. For a few pop those weights to one side. Well done, everyone. That is our the 10 exercises we've done in the middle there, okay? That's your circuit program feet. Remember, don't suddenly stop doing your exercise. We're going to go for that cool down now. Grab yourself a drink, though. If you feel ready, okay, you're happy to, then obviously you can continue to follow me. But if you want, if you feel like you've had a bit enough by now of listening to me, and you don't get a choice, you still got to listen to me. But you can join Jodie for the seated version. I'm only going to be standing for another five minutes, and then I'm probably going to fall on the floor. Um, I'm going to come join Jodie for the seated version anyway, all right? So just, just be careful, keeping you within your comfortable limits. You know that's coming. All right, very good. So just start to slow that pace down now. So you've done all the hard work now. We're going to a couple of strengthening exercises we're going to do as we're going to the cool down. Just for those legs, it's so important to keep those legs nice and strong. We'll give you a couple more exercises just to keep them going. Very good. And we're going to go back for our heel digs out of front. So heel digs out of front. So leave the arms out the exercises now. Just slowing that pace down. Everything should become down a lot more comfortable. Excellent. And again, we're going to switch this into our toe taps. So toe tapping out in front. Start to reduce that range of movement down. So make those taps a little bit smaller out in front. Good. Let's go back to our walk. So walk those feet away. Good. Toe taps out to the side. Nice and wide to begin with, as long as you're feeling all right in your hips to do so. You can give that supporting knee a little bit of a bend if you're standing. More difficult to do when you're sitting because they're already bent. It's getting a little bit of tension for that supporting leg. And again, just start to slow that pace down. Use that chair for support. Fix your gaze on something that isn't going to move. Don't stare at us. We move far too much. And again, slow that pace down. Reduce that range of movement again. So you're just doing little taps by your side. And then we can return to our walk again. Back to our walk. So if you want to now, okay, if you're doing the seated version, keep your toes in contact with the floor and just pedal for those heels if you find that easier. We've done a lot of work with those legs today, they might be feeling quite tired. Good. If you're still standing, hold well on. Come to the back of the chair, you're going to pop your hands in the back of the chair. If you're doing the seated version, then the feet hip width apart. And we're going to do a few of those calf raises. So we're going to rock forwards onto our toes, pushing through on our toes, up. Bringing our heels off the floor and then back down, and again, off you go. Up. Good. Have a little wiggle of the feet there. So hopefully you put this in your calves. Even if you can't get your heels off the gauge of those calves, you're going to be getting the benefits. And again, we're going to do a couple more. Up onto those toes, and back down. And up onto those toes, and back down. Mobilize those feet. Have a little wiggle through. Keep that circulation going. Do so. Roll onto those toes. And back down again, and again, off you go, up onto those toes. Back down, wiggle of those feet. We're going to do two more. And again, onto those toes. Heels off the floor if you can, and back down. And last one. Excellent, very good, and wiggle of those feet. So hopefully you feel this down here, just in your calf muscles. So it's essential when it comes to your walking, to keep them nice, which we're aiming to do for you, okay? We're going to keep those feet wiggling. Roll those shoulders back again. A little bit of mobilization. Roll those shoulders back, either one at a time or both together, depending on the way that you're feeling, whether you're sitting or standing, or need to keep hold of that chair. Good. Don't forget to do the other side if you're doing one arm. Good. And again, just a little pedal through those feet. Good. Hands at the back of the chair if you're still standing okay. We're going to do a, one of your feet. You're going to get to toe tap out in front. It's nice and sunny out in front. 
to the side. If you're seated, you're going to go back out in front. If you're standing, you can tap behind and back to the middle. Same with the other leg. So in front, to the side, back if you're standing, forward if you're seated, and back to the middle. Have a wiggle for those feet. We're going to do it again. Fix your gaze on something. If you found it easy to do it with both hands in the chair, try and do it with one hand in the chair and slow that pace down slightly. So, right foot, stepping out front, to the side, back if you're standing, and back to the wall. Same on the other side, so toe tap out in front, nice and slow to the side, behind if you're standing, and back to the middle. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. So, if you're still following me, pop everything to one side, and you're going to come take a seat. Da -da 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 -da. And just make sure that you're sitting at the front of the chair, sitting nice and upright, and keep those toes tapping away for me. Good. And we're going to do our second leg strengthening exercise, okay? Which I have the bottom. That's fine. Good. And all we're going to do is we're going to do a slide and lift, okay? So with one of our legs, pop your hands on the leg you're not going to use. Sit nice and upright. Remember not to lean back in the chair as we do this. We just want to bring that leg up and just engage these muscles, these thigh muscles as we do it. We're going to slide our foot forward and we're just going to give a little lift and then back down. And again, slide, lift, back down. Three, and four. Good, have a little break there, have a wiggle through of those feet. And we're gonna go for another four. So slide and lift if you can. If you feel like you've had enough, just have a wiggle of those feet. Two, three, and four. Very good, have a look at that too. So hopefully you can feel it just down here in this thigh muscle. I'm sure you all can. We're gonna switch over to the other leg. So we're gonna do four, and if you feel comfortable too, after having a little wiggle of those feet, to do another four, then do join us for that, okay? Remember that posture, already slumping down. Terrible. Very good, so bring that foot out. Okay, so slide and lift, and relax. Slide and lift. Three. Oh, very good. Mobilize those feet. Have a little wiggle through. And again, if you feel comfortable, do another four. So slide up and lift. Two. Three. And four. Excellent. Well done, everyone. Have a wiggle out those legs. Give them a bit of a kick out. Got a lot of work going for today. You realize how heavy your legs are. They're big, heavy things. Good. Again, sit nice and upright. Give your arms a bit of a shake out. Take your hands towards the back of the chair, grip the back of the chair, the base or onto the back. Ease that chest forwards, put a stretch just across that chest as we do it. Keep breathing nice and comfortably. Just keep those toes gently pedaling away. Very good. Release off, cross those arms a few times out in front. And we're going to do a few little trunk twists in your hips. You can bring one hand across to the opposite side. Take the other hand towards the back of the chair. I'm just going to ease around like you're having a look behind you. And return slowly to the middle. Stay on that same side. We're going to do three more. Hand comes across. Hand towards the back of the chair. Ease yourself around. And return. Very good. In your So hopefully as you do this, you can feel your mobility just starting to increase. You can turn around a little bit further each time. Excellent. Back to the middle. And we're going to do exactly the same the other side. So the other hand comes across, and you're going to ease yourself around. And back to the middle. Good. Three more in your own time. And again, if you put that mobility, that range of movement, just start to increase slightly as we go through. And we're going to do one more. Excellent. And relax down. Give yourself a bit of a shake up. Roll those shoulders back. Ease everything out. Fantastic, and we're just going to finish off with those leg stretches, okay? So heel dig out the front, bring your toes up towards the ceiling, sit nice and upright. You can probably feel a little bit of stretch down the back of the leg already, hands in that supporting leg. Have a little flex forward, feel that stretch in that calf muscle, the lower part of the leg, just to ease it off from those calf stretching exercises we were doing a moment ago. Hold that position, maintain your breathing, keep your head up while doing this. Fantastic. Ease back out and a wiggle of those feet. And switch over to the other side. Heel dig out. Toes up towards the ceiling. Sit nice and upright. Hands in a bit of upper thigh of the other leg. Flex forwards. Good. 
hold that position. Fantastic. And again, ease back out a little bit of those feet. Well done, everyone. Give yourself a bit of a shake out. Good. Finishing off with those heel toes. Find that spot on the floor. And we're going to go heel toe on that same spot just to get that ankle mobility good. Keep it nice and flexible. One more on this side. And we'll switch over and do exactly the same on the other side. So heel toe on the other side, trying to flex down. Same spot if you can. Last ones. Very good. And back to walk again. Good. Give yourself a bit of a shake out. You can ease back into your chair now and have a bit of a relax there. You have completed your session today. Well done, everyone. Well done. Brilliant. So, as, um, as always, if you've got any queries or any concerns or wish to discuss anything with us throughout the week, then we always have a nurse on triage and we're always available. So, please do bar me, give us a call on that telephone number that's on the front of your patient booklets. Um, similarly, if you've got any queries um, from an exercise point of view, Matt's obviously always on hand as well. So, um, don't be afraid to contact us on, on that number, um, the triage nurse or whoever will get back to you as, as soon as possible. Good. And again, as always, this video plus all the other ones that we've done so far are available on the West Suffolk Hospital YouTube channel, so you can find them all on there. Um, make sure you leave a day in between this video and repeating the same one or a previous one um, from another day, just to give yourself that little bit of recovery so you can just stick to your walking and stuff on the on your kind of rest day in between, okay? But well done everyone, done absolutely fantastically. Well done everyone, we'll look forward to seeing you again on Tuesday and um, take care. We'll be here before you know it. Bye! Bye! <laughs>